Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is Megan Marvin and we're now here for another video for Tower of Fantasy and this time we're going to be talking about 6 Star Shiro, yes! Before anything else, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. Without further ado, let's get on with this. Yes, you are seeing the 6-star Shiro right now, brought to us by iFire, a guildmate of ours in Exodiac in area server. Yes, you're seeing it right. This is the view. This is this is actually the view that you could see with Shiro, three star. If I would have known that this is the view, <laughs> I would have gotten her. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So what's with Shiro? Shiro is one of those underrated six uh, underrated um, shield breaker out there. The Shatter is really, really something to be interested about. I think Shiro is going to be very popular soon because of Claudia. Claudia strengthens the physical damage attribute of your team. And considering that Shiro is a physical damage dealer, then she is the right one for the Shatter part or the Shatter role if you're gonna be uh, bringing in Claudia as your main DPS so first of all let's look at her uh, look at that a lot of stars <laughs> look at her skill so the first skill is uh, you know the normal the normal attack then we have this aerial uh, discharge after jumping then you attack that's it the next one is you attack and then hold the attack button so that would be the scatter the next is air spin. So air spin is uh, the scatter, but you have to jump. So you have to be in air. Then sneak attack. Okay, so she only has one dodge skill, but this dodge skill is very useful later. We'll talk about that later. The waning moon. Okay, so when when she dodges and then attack, this is that, that attack is called the waning moon. Third skill, uh, she's really, really known for her... Uh, skill full bloom wherein she creates a big huge a big circle and then she throws a lot of chakrams there and then it bounces w one after the other when you are using waning moon the split chakrams that it triggers will also bounce up to five times okay then for the discharge uh, switching to this weapon from another weapon removes all the buffs from the wielder and unleashes chakrams of the seas at a target struck target causes an aoe stun for one second plus one attack each against up to three units every second so it's an aoe damage per second and it also has a chance to stun so the spirit of the air plus the skill plus the waning moon is really going to bring out a lot of chakram plus if he has that relic which copies yourself i'm not sure if he has it okay this one hologram projector so if you equip this one then you actually give out uh, almost double damage because this one also uh this one only deals uh 35 percent of your damage okay so let's talk about the stars why six star chakram of the seas is really really useful as compared to a zero star because a zero star is just nothing okay so in my opinion you really have to increase the stars of the chakram in order for you to have a huge use in uh you know in fights in roles as your shatter Okay, for a one star, increased damage dealt to two and all elemental shattering effects on targets within full bloom's range. So this is the reason why it's really awesome to have a Shiro user in the team because when she casts full bloom, your shatter and all elemental shattering effects will be increased by 30%. Okay, the next one, two star is increased attack. 3 star is really nice. Increase shatter by 15%. This is the one. And reset all weapon skill cooldowns 
upon shattering the target's shield. So every time that you shatter the target's shield, you can now cast again all uh, weapon skill. So even if you have uh, you know long cooldowns on other other weapons on your you know arsenal, you would have them um, refreshed or reset when you shatter the shield of the enemy. So this one is four star HP, five star attacking a grievous target extends the duration of grievous by another seven additional seconds. So this one is for her weapons passive which is grievous which increases the damage that you deal to the enemy by 20 percent for seven seconds if you have a fully charged weapon so for the six uh, star this is the reason why i would love to get a six star shiro even though i don't have one because i'm really i never had a, you know a shiro i never pulled a shiro before but I would love to have 6 star of Shiro because after using full bloom, grant 100% crit for 8 seconds. So a lot of people may see this as underwhelming mainly because you can get, you know, you can get crit from, from your uh, equipment, from your gears. But in this case, you get 100%. So in my opinion, in, in my opinion, a 100% buff crit is really really beneficial if you're using a zero team why because you can you can now neglect you know any any crit stat on your character you're going to be happy with it you're also gonna be okay without it in my opinion that is going to be better because you won't have you you will be only uh focusing on attack physical attack and crit damage which multiplies your damage so much more and really a higher exponential damage okay let's now try the discharge skill so what is the discharge skill it's r okay r there you go so that is the discharge skill and then couple it with full bloom okay and then with waning wound Look at that! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Let's now show a couple of the skills. So this is the attack, attack, hold. Then your uh, your chakram will be split into five. There you go. So this is the waning moon. There you go. So whenever the waning moon hits a target, it's uh, it splits, right? Those chakram would be bouncing within the full bloom. All right. Let's now try it on bygone phantasm. So let's try this one first. Okay. Come on, go inside. There you go. So let's now cast the boop, uh, the discharge, and the full bloom. All right. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Sorry, I'm clicking another one. Oh. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. There you go. We reset our skill, right? My goodness. So actually, we can cast it now again because we shattered the enemy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so amazing. Oh my goodness. I never knew, you know, playing other weapon could be this fun. So fun. Let's try one more time. 
a higher level. Oh my goodness. I can play this weapon all day long. Let's go. I did not even use any relic. I'm like, what? Look at that. And then we can cast it again. Oh my goodness. It would only be, um, you know, suggested for you to use that whenever you have a a an enemy with a shield because if you break the shield that is the time that you would be resetting your 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 discharge oh no no your skill oh my goodness But I just love using this one. Let's go! Look at that! All crits! All crits, by the way! Oh my goodness! It's endless! The fun is endless! Oh! Oh, she's not. Uh, it's not here. How will I kill you? You're not here. This is so enjoyable. I'm not even, you know, I'm not even a pro at using Shiro, but I'm really, really liking how to use her. Oh my goodness. Imagine having Claudia. Imagine the bigger damage that she could deal, the easier she would shatter the enemy's shield with Claudia. Oh my goodness! I guess this guy is really, really excited for the Claudia release, right? But anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye bye.